we are getting more and more fantasy and sci-fi adaptations to the big screen. Some of these are great, some of these are not so great. But with the success of some of the bigger franchises, there are lots of others that are starting to be picked up. And with that, I thought I would make a list of some upcoming fantasy and sci-fi books that are going to be adapted. And it means I know some people like to read before they watch the adaption, so this gives you the chance to be prepared for to be prepared to be prepared for when the adaption is coming, and you can choose if you want to read the book first or watch the movie first. I don't agree with the every single case being that the book is better, but a lot of the time it is. So this gives you the chance to read through the books if you want to read them first. I am here to ruin your TBR once more, my friends. Starting with one of the reasons why I made this video, video, words. Starting with one of the reasons I made this video is that they are adapting Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Now I know this is not Dark Tower, but I don't own Dark Tower, so pretend that this is Dark Tower. <laughs> It was announced at the end of 2022 that Mike Flanagan, the show creator of The Haunting of Hill House and Midnight Mass, has acquired the rights to adapt Stephen King's Dark Tower series. He seems to be really passionate about the project and he's been wanting to adapt it for a very long time, so I don't think it would take a million years to get off the ground, but he has just acquired the rights, so it might be some time. However, the thing about the Dark Tower series is that it's, it's Stephen King's crossover series so it connects a lot of his other books together so not only do you want to kind of read the Dark Tower series but I would say even before that you'd want to read some of his other works I'm by no means a Stephen King expert so you might want to go elsewhere to find exactly what books you need to read first but there's plenty of time that you can work through some King classics and then into the Dark Tower series I believe it is one of those books I'm not just waving this one about for fun great book though Another is June. We got the first part of the June movie. Ah. In 2021, we got the first part of Dune. June. I want to say June, but that. I thought the first movie was fantastic. It probably covered about half of the first book. So the second movie, which should come out in the next couple of years, I don't think we have a release date yet. If we do, I'll put it on screen. We'll be covering the second spoilers, don't look. So if you haven't seen that yet, or you have, I highly recommend checking out Dune. When I first picked up Dune, I actually thought it was going to be quite a difficult read because I've heard that about older sci-fi books in particular. However, I didn't find it very difficult to read. It's pretty easy reading. The only thing that's a wee bit different that you don't see very common anymore is an omnipresent narrator, which means the chapters aren't from the perspective of one character. It kind of jumps about and you get different parts of what each character is thinking in a particular scene, all within the one chapter. So that might take a little bit of getting used to, but it's well worth it and it's a great book. And the movie's great, so. Next up we have Mickey Seven. We did just recently get a promotional image for this, which is showing on screen right now. This sounds distinct to like Murderbot, so if you're a fan of Murderbot, which I am, this sounds very similar in tone. He's not supposed to live but he'll do anything to survive. It follows Mickey Seven, and the seven stands for the amount of times he has died. I've not read this one, but I know it's pretty highly rated and it sounds a lot like Murderbot, so I'm definitely gonna pick this one up before the adaption. I think the adaption is a while out yet, so there's plenty of time, and it's just a short read. So, pick that up. And while we're talking about it, we have Murderbot. Murderbot is one of my favorite series of all time. I absolutely love it, and I highly recommend it to everyone. The first four books are actually novellas and then the fifth book is a full novel and then the sixth book is a novella again. I've searched online but I can't find a lot of information about the adaption other than Martha Wells saying there are plans for a TV series but still under development right now. So we don't really know much about it but it is coming hopefully. Murderbot is a droid that's a security guard that gets leased out to different companies that go to planets to colonize and terraform. However, it doesn't want to do any of that. It just wants to sit and chill and watch its entertainment feed. So each novel is a kind of little mystery tale in itself, but it has an overarching story that you get over all the novellas. The highlight of this series is definitely the character of Murderbot itself. It's one of my favorite series of all time. It's thrilling, mysterious, hilarious, and really emotional. Highly recommend. Next up, we have the new Studio Ghibli film. 
based off of the book, How Do You Live? This should be coming this year, summer of this year in Japan, and then a later release for the rest of the world. A Studio Ghibli. I love Studio Ghibli so much, apart from Grave of the Fireflies, which I will never watch again. Great film, but no. And this one sounds like it's going to be similarly painful. How Do You Live tells a coming of age story of a 15 year old boy who's mentored by his uncle in spirituality and all the big questions of life when his father dies. This does sound like it's going to be pretty heavy, but I think it'll be a pretty great read and it's got a forward from Neil Gaiman, so you know it's going to be pretty good. Next up, we have season two of The Wheel of Time. Now, season two, I believe, is meant to be mainly based on book four, Shadow Rising. So if you're trying to keep up, I would recommend at least getting up to book four, which is a chunky book that's over a thousand pages. <laughs> I personally felt pretty mixed on season one. There were some things I really liked, some other stuff I really didn't like, but I'll still be tuning into season two to see how the story continues. It seemed to be a pretty mixed reception across the board, but hopefully season two will clean up some of those rougher sections. Coming in 2024, we are getting an adaption of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Hopefully it will be better than the films. These were the books that really got me into reading as a kid. I remember finishing this book and thinking, I need the next one. So needless to say, I'm pretty excited about the adaption. I do think it'll be pretty good. We have got some of the casting already and the casting seems to be really good. And the fact that Rick Riordan is playing a big part in the production, I think is a really good thing. If you want an adaption to do well, bring the original creator on. It just, it seems like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many people, how many studios don't do that. It's a middle grade series, so if you're looking for something a little lighter, a little easier, I do still recommend reading it, and you have a while to make it through the series before the adaption comes out in 2024. Another adaption that is bringing the author on as an executive producer is Ninth House by Leo Bardugo. This is currently in production with Amazon Prime, there's very little information about it, there's not really any casting or even a release window, what year, nothing really about it, but it is currently in production. I'm actually really excited about this one, I really enjoyed Ninth House and I've not read Hellbent yet, but it is on the list, I'll hopefully get to it soon, I'll definitely get to it before the show comes out. <laughs> I think Ninth House will actually work really well as a TV show, I really enjoyed the story but I think it also fits the screen really, fits the screen really well. I know I said this last time I talked about Ninth House, but Stephen King, impossible to put down. If the King says it's good, it's good. Apart from maybe some of the weird stuff he says on Twitter, but we won't go over that. But again, there's plenty of time to read this one because there's not a lot of information about a release date. And I highly recommend it. Next up, we have The Poppy War. Now, this is another one that there's not a lot of information out there currently. What we do know is it's planned to be adapted into a TV show. We know that the company has the rights to all three books. And the company is... Starlight Media, the people behind Crazy Right Asians. Other than that, we know pretty much nothing, so it could be quite a while until this comes out. This is a character-driven but pretty theme-heavy book about war. It's meant to be really dark, but it's also highly praised, so I'm definitely going to give this a read before the TV show comes out. And last but not least, we're hopping on into speculation land. It's pretty much confirmed. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. What do we know about this? We know that Brandon Sanderson is currently in talks with a lot of different studios about adapting some of his work. It hasn't been confirmed that it's Mistborn, but it's most likely to be Mistborn. All the speculation points to it being a movie rather than a TV show. And what has me really excited about this is the fact that Brandon Sanderson is really closely working with the studios. Because he's such a big name and he has so many people approaching him about adaptions, he's able to pick the people who he thinks are perfect for the job and give him enough creative control and agency to make the right decisions for the film. And also in comparison to the rest of this list, this could very well be one of the sooner ones. He said semi recently on a live stream that it would be unlikely that they wouldn't be on set this time next year, which is now this year. So film will start this year, it's highly possible. Also, if you're interested in what Mistborn might look like in a live action, I did shoot a little teaser short thing for fun in October of last year and I uh, had a lot of fun making it. So if you wanna see that, there. This certainly wasn't an exhaustive list, there are plenty other adaptions coming our way and I might make another list of more adaptions because currently there are so many coming out. Are you excited for any of these? Are there more coming up that I've missed that you're really excited for? Or just tell me what book you'd really like to be adapted. Okay, bye! <laughs>